Look what we got here. Yeah, some nice pink balls. You ever trained with the pink ball before? Never. I wonder what they want us to do with these. I don't know. I think we're going to need a little bit help with that. Yeah, some guidance and some help. Maybe some advice, too. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. My name's Ellie. So usually, you're here to save goals, but today, you're here to save lives. I'm here to share my story, to spread awareness. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with breast cancer at 22. It can happen to anyone at any age, and I'm just proof that it does happen. It's obviously really important to check. I was lucky, mine was caught really early, so I was able to be treated and, and cured. So I, I haven't got cancer anymore, and obviously I'm just back to living my life, but obviously that's just because I found it so early. What kind of support did you have from your family, your friends? I really had the most amazing support around me. I had all my friends and family, they, they came together, they supported me the whole time. So we're going to introduce a doctor who will demonstrate using the ball how to effectively check your breath. Nice to meet Hello. you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. I'm going to be uh, your coach today. What is important to know is anybody can do it. Becoming familiar with it, you can know if any changes or abnormalities, if it occurs, and then you go to your doctor to check. First step is about observation. You are going to check all the area around your breast. Don't forget the part under your arm, and don't forget the part where the lymph nodes are under the armpit. You can alternate light, medium, and firm pressure to go very deep in the tissue. For the second step, you are going to use your three middle finger, and with the pad, the most sensitive part, you're going to press in circular motion, okay. one point, and then you slide to another point, and you go in circular motion from the outside to the inside. You'll be really systematic not to forget a part. Okay. When you reach the nipple, you're done. So, for step three, you would just gently squeeze the nipple area and check for any discharge or any fluids coming out the nipple. How important is, like, discovering this in the early stages? It's really important because if uh, you detect the cancer at stage one, you're going to be 99% of survival at five years. So that's right that men can get it as well? It's very rare in men, maybe 1% of all the breast cancer, but it can happen. And yeah, this is really good because I never heard like uh, in my life that it could happen with men as well. I really appreciate you sharing your story. It's inspired me and thank you for educating us. I think Ali and I will both walk away with a lot more information than what we started in. Thank you very much. It's really important for us. I think obviously this shows how important early detection is.